Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Today we're going to do your weekly reading. This is going to be July 8th through the 15th. Please remember it is a general reading. Uh, timing is flexible as well. <clears throat> May not resonate with all of you out there, but just take the messages that do. All right, there will be an extended uh, link extended reading in the description box if you'd like to check that out uh, also if you'd like to check out your other signs uh, for more messages guidance you know a full picture of your situation there is a playlist link below as well right now i'm not taking on any personal readings i'm taking a break so i'll let you all know when once i open those up um, also below is my giveaway do giveaway uh, free pre personal readings each month so details are below if you'd like to enter okay there's some other things um, in the description box you know merch merchandise my other channel so check that out if you like I hope you're all well healthy safe some of you are going to have some birthdays this month so happy birthday happy early birthday so let's get started uh, with your reading. I'm going to pull a couple of cards here from the Energy Oracle deck. See what the overall energy here is for you, Leo. Ooh, what is that? Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay, so Leo, what's going on here? You have anxiety and you have deceit. I feel here, Leo, you know, this can be somebody around you, but this also can be you. There may be somebody that you may have felt betrayed you. You may be feeling anxious about, um, you know, something that you're worried here. Maybe somebody that is around you. Maybe somebody who is envious of you or somebody who betrayed you in some sort of way. All right. So I'm just going to say with those cards, um, I feel like there could be somebody around you, okay? Somebody who betrayed you, somebody who uh, may be really thinking about the situation, but this also can be you. Roles can be reversed, so take it how it resonates. Now, you also have here the appreciation card. And I feel with this energy, even though there could be this energy around you, whether you were worried um, or somebody else's, um, this is a card of appreciation. This is really about living in the moment, doing what's good for your soul. It's also a card here. You can see that there's like a lot of, there's a lot of brush and there's a lot of bramble. I think it's called bramble behind this person, you know, which can signify, you know, some sort of drama or chaos or something going on. Um, but this is really just about you living in the moment, okay? Really not focusing on any of that drama or what's going on, okay? I feel here too, you have door to personal healing and happiness. I feel like spirit is really trying to lead you in a direction to do, um, you know, what is good for you? What makes you feel happy living in the present moment? Because I see here there is some sort of worry and I feel like there is some sort of worry about somebody who may have deceived you or somebody who betrayed you is the energy that I'm getting there. So I'm going to put these two cards up here. Um, and look here, I'm just going to say you also have the thinking woman. So I do get that this situation is very much heavily on your mind so let's pull some tarot see what additional messages come out for you so let's get a couple shuffles see what we got here So I feel like there's some sort of challenge that you're going through or some sort of challenging situation. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Leo July 8th through the 15th? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do you have for Leo? All right. So you have the star card. You've got strong Aquarius energy there. You have the Five of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and the Ace of Swords. All right. And bottom of the deck. Look at that. You have the Deceit card, and now you have the Devil card. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. 
I feel there's a situation here with somebody um, betrayed you, okay? Somebody betrayed you here, I feel like, too, with this Five of Swords. Could have been somebody who was playing games with you. Um, I This is always my third party card. Um, but this is somebody winning at the expense of others, okay? Somebody who, you know, wanted to win at all costs. Somebody who uh, may not have taken... Um, Somebody who may have taken you for granted, okay? Didn't consider your feelings in the situation is what I'm getting there. I feel like you're trying to heal from this situation, but at the same token, I feel here there's still a uh, worry here, okay? There's still worry here. There's still anxiety here. Um, and I feel that you're really trying to, you know, move on from this situation or you're being guided here by spirit you know, for your happiness here, because there was some sort of betrayal, some sort of deceit here. And, and, you know, with the devil card, that's definitely a confirmation there. Now you have the ace of swords. So I do feel like spirit is saying here, there is going to be some sort of clarity or breakthrough in the situation, a new beginning. Um, it may be that this is this, you moving on past this situation is really putting you where you are destined to be here with the star card. It's going to be different for all of you. This also can be clarity or communication coming in here, okay, from a past situation. But let's pull some more cards and see what additional messages come in for you. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Leo July 8th through the 15th? What messages do you have for Leo July 8th? 8th through the 15th. Let's get three cards. Okay, you have the Two of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Six of Cups. Okay, and bottom of the deck here, you have the Magician. So I do sense that there is some sort of new beginning happening here. There is some sort of change happening. Now, I feel uh, Leo with this two of wands and this eight of cups all right this is your energy with the two of wands i feel like you're making some sort of decision i feel like you may be making a decision here to heal from a situation to move past um, a situation okay maybe to walk away from whatever this conflict is it could just be an argument it could also be uh you know a third party situation could be a particular person here that you are dealing with. And, um, you know, I feel like you're making the decision here to move past the conflict or to even just walk away from this person completely. But I do see here you have the Ace of Swords and you have the Six of Cups. So soulmate energy here, you know, you could receive some sort of communication from this person. But this also could be a new soulmate coming in for you as well. All right, but um, let's pull some more cards to see, right? I feel like, too, um, you could be dealing with somebody here who is definitely thinking about you, okay? But as I said, let's pull some more cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What additional messages do you have for Leo, July 8th through the 15th? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. All right. There's that magician energy again. New beginnings here. Healing. Thinking about the future. Okay. Putting your intention out there in the future to what you want here. It feels like an energy. You, you just want to be happy here. Healing. Being happy. Okay. Being in the present moment. Not um, in this anxiety. You have the two of cups. Oh, gosh. And you have the Three of Pentacles. And bottom of the deck here, you have the Page of Cups. Interesting. I'm seeing this in a lot of the readings here. I feel like there are some of you who are going to be reconciling or, or wanting to reconcile with a past person. But I see a lot of you, too, are also moving on. I'm going to say the center of your reading here, you have the Eight of Cups. I feel like you're trying to make a decision here whether to walk away from a person, all right, or a situation or a conflict here. Okay, this is a sense of not feeling satisfied. Some of you could actually even be making some sort of home move I'm getting here as well. 
Um, but with the magician here, this is about new beginnings. And I feel like this is about you taking um, action here, okay? This is also your destiny, okay? Your personal healing and your happiness here. Like I said, I feel like you're being guided here by spirit. But there is some sort of wish, okay? There is some sort of wish I feel that's happening here, okay? Putting you where you are destined to be. And I feel for some of you too, you may be holding on okay to a certain situation the situation here where it caused you anxiety where you may have felt betrayed from a particular person where this person may have played games or they didn't have the right intentions but uh somebody walked away in this situation or they are walking away but i feel you're manifesting here a new beginning a new beginning whatever that is for you okay I feel walking away here too may have given you the clarity that you needed to see things clearly. Now you have the two of cups here. So I do feel this is somebody that you felt a very, very strong connection with. But there was some sort of dissatisfaction here, okay? Or not being emotionally satisfied from this person. And as I said, there could have been a third party situation, whether it was another lover or, you know, it was something else, family, friends could be a work situation um, or just this person playing games all right but with all of that I feel you know you you felt a strong connection with this person you have the three of Pentacles here I feel for some of you there's a new soulmate coming in for you a new soulmate here with the six of cups and the three of Pentacles you may even meet this person from work or like some sort of event where you're working with people you know, it could be volunteer work, it could be, you know, in school, or you take some sort of class, I'm getting, um, that's bringing about a new beginning, a fresh start here with the Ace of Swords. For some of you, though, I feel like this is uh, this person that you are dealing with, that you may have walked away from. Okay, somebody walked away from the situation, or you may be walking away. But I'm also getting here, you have the Page of Cups. Some of you, I feel new love is coming in. But for some of you, I feel like this person is rushing in with an apology. Okay, with this Knight of Swords. There's change happening here and it's happening pretty quickly. So you may meet somebody here. Okay, a new soulmate. But for others, I feel like this could be this person that is returning from the past. This person here, I feel it, that betrayed you in some sort of way. And so it's really going to be your free will and your and your choice here. So let's pull some guidance cards here and see uh, what guidance there is in this situation. I feel here too with this Eight of Cups and this Five of um, Swords. If you were dealing with a past person uh, in love, I feel this is somebody here who is emotionally unavailable. That's why they were playing games or they, um, you know, there was conflict uh, with the situation, even though they felt a strong connection here with the Two of Cups. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Uh, what guidance or wisdom do you have for Leo? Look at that. Round and round. So this was a situation, yeah, that went round and round. It definitely had its challenges, its ups and downs, I'm hearing. I feel this was a situation you weren't getting anywhere. Okay, that's that five of swords, that conflict. Look at that. You have the orphan card. So an energy here of feeling alone, feeling disappointed. This also can be the person you're dealing with, okay? Feeling a lot a loss in the situation or feeling disappointed, disappointed by their own actions. And you have peace here, okay? Peace. I feel, you know, I'm hearing like peace offering. Um, if you're wanting to reconcile with someone, I do feel like this person could come back around with some sort of apology, trying to make peace in the situation, you know, whether it's so that you and this person, so you gain clarity, all right, um, like I said, they could come back around and apologize, okay, for some of you, I feel here, you may just walk away from this person, um, 
for your own peace and happiness here and that's what i'm seeing here your door to personal healing and happiness all right bottom of the deck here you have community and you also have loyal heart here what i get here is i feel this person is definitely very much so still connected to you uh, I feel like they're very much attached. Uh, you know, I, I get here too for some of you, you. You and this person may even mirror each other in some sort of way or may even, you know, be twin flames. I'm getting here yin energy as well. Okay, so this is the feminine energy and this is about receiving. I feel this person's going to reach out to you too with this community card. I always kind of see that as a reaching out or an outreach. Uh, I feel this person's going to reach out to you if this is somebody from your past. Like I said, they're coming towards you with some sort of communication, maybe an apology here. Um, but for others, I feel uh, this is new love coming in. If you're somebody here who's deciding that the portrayal was just too much for you, right? You didn't get anywhere with this person. They caused you a lot of heartache. I feel like you are moving on, okay? You are moving on and you are um, open to new love. And I do see here new love coming in for you. But there's going to be a handful of you. I also see here that there's going to be uh, this person returning and an opportunity for the two of you to work on things. So if you'd like to uh, watch the extended reading, uh, for those of you who are wanting to reconcile with someone, uh, I will be taking it to the extended. We're going to look at how they're thinking and feeling about you. What are their thoughts? What are their feelings? What are their upcoming actions? What actions are they going to take? Love messages and guidance and potential outcome of the situation. So if you'd like to watch that, the extend, uh, extended reading is in the description box, Leo. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I will see you on the extended. Um, have a good evening.